Hello everyone, welcome to Lahar Talk and uh, this is my ninth tutorial on D3 and uh, now we will start with our bar graph and uh, in this tutorial I will show you how we can add axis to our bar graph. So let's get started. So here in HTML I have declared one SVG element and uh, provided ID as SVG and I have set uh, width as 600 pixel and height as 300 pixel and uh, in JavaScript here I have defined one array of object and uh, this consists year and quantity of product and here I have declared SVG variable and uh, which will store the SVG element and here I have provided padding uh, this we can use to provide padding inside our bar graph so let's define one variable which will store width and height of chart area where we draw our bar graph so here i have defined one variable and it will store width and height of our bar graph so here i am using svg dot style and i am getting width and height of that and i am using a parse in function to convert into number and I am subtracting the padding from the original width and height and uh, this variable will store the area excluding this padding. So if you see here, uh, this will be our chart area width and height. Uh, now we will define scale function. Uh, if you don't know about the scale function, I will suggest you to watch my sixth tutorial on scale function. So let's define here y scale. So here I have defined y scale using scale linear function and I have provided domain from 0 to max of quantity. So here the maximum will be 7039 and here I am using d3.max function and it will loop through my all array data and it will find the maximum of quantity and here I am providing the range to the height of my chart area to 0. So let's define scale for x axis and here I have defined x scale using scale band and I am providing domain and uh, I am getting all the year using map function and uh, so this function will return me array of years so the domain will be all my years from 2000 to 2008 so in scale band your domain should be unique so here you can see the years are unique from 2000 to 2010 and i'm providing range to 0 to width of our bar graph so this width will be the area where we draw our bars and here i am providing padding to 0.2 uh, in scale band we provide padding from 0 to 1 and this padding is used to provide space between our bar graphs so let's define uh, x axis so here i have defined x axis and here you can see i have appended one g tag and this is a group tag and it is used to group svg element and i have provided class to this group as x axis and using transform property i am moving this group in x and y direction so here you can see i am moving in x direction as padding left and uh, in where direction i'm moving to height of our graph plus padding top so my axis will be drawn from here and here i have defined axis function for x axis we will use axis bottom function and we need to pass scale for that so here i'm passing x scale and uh, using call function it will call this axis function and it will pass this axis selection to this axis function so let's refresh our page so here you can see my x axis has been drawn so as you can see this is my padding left and here this is my padding top plus and this is height of our chart area so now let's define y axis to our graph so here I have defined a y axis function. So for y axis we will use axis left function and uh, here I am using another way to define a y axis. So one way is to use a call function. So here I have defined uh, axis function and I am storing this in y axis function variable. Uh, 
here I am passing y scale and here for a y axis I again appended one group element and uh, provided a class as a y axis and I am moving this element using transform function and uh, in x direction I am moving as a padding left and in y direction I am moving padding top. So my y axis will be drawn from here at this point and here I am calling my y axis function and I am passing my selection. So here you can see in using a call function this call function will call this axis function and it will pass my x axis selection. So either way you can use uh, axis function. So let's refresh our page. So here you can see my x axis has been drawn. So this is my padding top and uh, this is my padding left. So that's it for this tutorial and uh, in next tutorial I will show you how we can add bars to this graph and if you guys have any doubt please comment below and please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.